We were visiting all of the um, parents and children from the West Coast um, who were in special need of care and a place to come. We have a special team at every hospital who is taking care of these children and the parents. So we, we visited with parents who were scared to death coming here. But once they got here, our teams made them feel welcome and part of the Memorial family. So it's just a wonderful, you know, as positive as an experience as they can have at this time in their lives. It's, it's a wonderful thing. So soon after the storm, our administrative team contacted my director and myself that we are going to be receiving babies that are being evacuated from the hospital in Fort Myers. Instantly, all I had to do was send a message to my staff via our WhatsApp chat and ask for help because this would have increased our census by six babies in a very short period of time. Overwhelmingly, we had a very positive response. I had a team come at night to set up the area. We did pre-admission of the babies because our physicians were able to contact through the transfer center and receive report on the six babies. By the next day, I still had the same overwhelming response of staff and in less than about six hours, we received six babies here, fully staffed and have been staffed well all through the weekend into today. Um, the staff have just poured out their support, wanting to come and take care of these babies. They had a uh, on-call room ready with a bed for us, um, some place for me to lay down because I just had a C-section, uh, food for us, vouchers for us to eat in the cafeteria, just, it was, it was amazing. I just, everything was ready for us and they, they had taken such good care of him. He had actually already gained a little weight once he got here, so they helped fatten him up fast. I think they told me at six o'clock at night that they were going to transfer him and they didn't transfer him until six o'clock in the morning. So it was like 12 hours of just like emotion and crying and it was rough, um, like even leaving him at night to go five minutes to the hotel is, is hard. So having him come here before me, I was like, it, it was, I was a wreck, but you know, everyone cared for him really well and he didn't have any problems. So it was scary, but it turned out okay. Mixed emotions, if I'm honest with you, this is kind of back to my roots of working in the NICU. Um, I'm always proud of what Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, Memorial West, and Memorial Miramar do, but this is exceptional. This is something special. This is an opportunity for them to really give the memorial experience to people who are really in need at this time. And um, it, just, it just feels so good to be able to help communities that otherwise would not have the resources that they have. So it's just truly a blessing to be able to be a blessing.